Hello there, and before we get into the video, yesterday I posted a video on my Tantive diorama, so definitely be sure to check it out, and if you want to build it yourself, the instructions are over on Rebrickable. Speaking of, if you like today's mock and want to build this for yourself, let me know if you'd like the instructions, because it's only a small model, and it will only take me a few minutes to get the instructions online, but of course today we do have another Bad Batch mock. Today we're actually creating a Brickhead's which does tie in to last week's mock, which as you can see, is still on display to the side of me. I did at some point have it behind, but where I'm sitting, it would be right behind my head. So it definitely looks a lot better next to me and you get a closer look on the camera. If you did miss that, go check out the video and I think we'll get straight into this week's mock. Now, as I said, it does tie into last week's mock and it's all to do with Batcher here because as I said, she is not minifigure scout at all. In fact, I have my fives minifigure still here where I'm yet to put him on the display. And as you can see, yeah, it's about three times the height of a minifigure. And even then, Batcher's only meant to be sort of shoulder to waist height, somewhere in between there. So she's nearly six times bigger than she's meant to be. But today's video is a Brickheads mock. And Brickheads are known to be a lot bigger than minifigures. And as you can see, the Brickheads is Omega, so Batcher is still not too perfect scale, but if we measure the height of the top of the torso for Batcher with the height of Omega, it's about right, so we angle down the head a little bit, and it's mostly Brickhead scale rather than minifigure scale, but that was last week's mock, so Batcher will be featured no more in this video because today we're looking at the Brickheads Omega, which I think turned out... I'm going to say awesome, it is my own mock, so I am sort of tooting my own horn, but we've got a few accessories we'll go over in a minute, including at the back there. First off, Omega is really cool because we don't actually have this minifigure, we have the one from season one in her, or season two, I think it is technically, in her Kaminoan robes, and this is more of a modern Kaminoan scientist, so it's definitely cool to see how the outfits have changed between season two and season three now because the Kaminoan outfit was so much more colourful and this Omega does actually have a dual sided head which you always have to check because I always end up forgetting it but you've got the blue sleeves, the red on the top and it's sort of like a clone cadet's costume which Makes sense now that she is a clone, but it also matched up to Nala Says. And since Nala Says started working for the Empire, she also has been donning some grey robes, much like the Kaminoan that went to Kenobi in Attack of the Clones. I get that this is sort of a more bluish than grey, but I think it still looks white grey next to the other greys it's mainly the red on the season 2 omega here which does stand out so if you are looking for a custom imperial nala say i definitely recommend going to tarnway here for inspiration this is a brickheads mock video so i think that's enough minifigures featured now i have created omega in the full-sized brickheads and that was slightly to add up to batcher and slightly because I could get much, much more detail than making a smaller one. And Omega is growing up. It has been, for all we know, a few years since the Batch last had her on their team. So Omega's definitely getting older. And another way we know this is from season two, she has some shorter, sort of more bobbier hair with, well, you can see what the hair looks like. And in season three, she has a ponytail and it's still it's quite nicely kept in the show to be fair for being on an imperial facility but she has much much longer hair than we left her off with and we have no idea if it's been cut or if she's cut it at any point which she might have towards the start and then just given up and let it grow out because i wouldn't say it's much easier to have longer hair but it does save a lot when it comes to trimming it now on the back you can also see an imperial backpack which has a bright red imperial logo now in the show it definitely didn't have a bright red imperial logo but i've taken inspiration from the clone backpacks and this backpack does actually pop right off and you could definitely just 
replace it with a brick if i ever sell or put these instructions out you could definitely replace it with a one by four gray brick and just not include the backpack at all but i've taken inspiration from the clones backpacks from the clone wars and instead of that republic logo just got this imperial logo i think this was from a playset where you had to fire some missiles at a target but i got this red piece here and stuck that on top to show that it is indeed an imperial backpack rather than a republic one because of course we've shifted from republic to the empire and alongside this with omega escaping in the episode she has nala says data pad which is actually the data pad or laptop from the vision minifigure from the second marvel cmf that i want no i think it was the first one i can't remember how many series there has been but from one of the marvel cmf lines and of course omegas reuniting with hunter and wrecker at the end of last week's episode means that she will get her bow back we've seen it in the trailer i'm pretty sure we've also seen hunter either staring at it or carrying it around in the second episode of this season or perhaps again that might have been from a clip in the trailer but she will be getting her bow back so i've recreated it using one two three four five six seven eight nine pieces here and i think it looks amazing it is definitely sized up to the brick heads here and i'm very happy with how this turned out we've got a few more details on the torso i'll try not to blind you with the light but I've tried to recreate the belt here and even got the shoulder pads on either side which do stick out a little bit to recreate the Kaminoan logo on the front here. What I've done is use these vents which come in, well they come in the friends sets, they also come in a few other sets. I'm not quite sure where I've picked up all these extras because of course the friends ones I've reused into the friends modular buildings which thank you so much for all the support they're still getting on rebrickable but on both sides that is i've just used this one by one printed piece to represent the camino logo and you can move the arm spin them around and perhaps she's holding the data pad down and that is how the camino logo looks well, it's a lot closer to it i think it's two dashes on the left and a line on the right so we've got four lines here it's close enough in lego especially at this scale and i'm sure lego would make that a printed piece but to get the bow being held on this arm i've actually included an extra plate or tile on the side here and it is a modified one it is a jump part so that when omega's holding her bow she can actually position it up and down and she can hold it down like that because perhaps it does get a bit heavy or she's firing it up and it's a really cool feature that i've just included the two by two jumper plate on it and it allows for a whole technically 360 motion but of course if you're bending omega's arm backwards it might look a little weird so again definitely let me know if you'd like the instructions for this to build for yourself because i could definitely upload them and this omega is going to be going with all my other brick heads and my fiance's brick heads we've got ones from the mandalorian from ahsoka so it'd be really nice to get the batch as brick heads at some point soon to go along of course with omega and as Crosshair has returned to his brothers and we might be seeing the return of Tech this season, I think this would be the best time to launch a Brickhead, perhaps later this year, not for May 4th, get the Phantom Menace ones out for May 4th to celebrate 25 years and then give us a whole collection of the Bad Batch in their gear later on, especially with all the different colours they've added over the years. It's going to be really, really cool. But thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to like and hit subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. May the bricks be with you, always.